All right, guys, let's see if we can outrun this 3.5 pound match grade trigger by Palmetto State Armory. 30 round mag. Let's see how she does. <laughs> awesome. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I've had this in for a while, but I wanted to show you guys the PSA Custom 3.5 pound AR drop-in trigger. It is a match grade trigger made by Palmetto State Armory. I've had it in for a few months now, and you can see it is a flat trigger, all right, with some kind of cool skeletonization going on in there. So let's go ahead and take it over to the table and talk a little bit more about this trigger. So first we'll talk about how the trigger feels overall, then we'll go into the pull weight, and then we'll touch base on how to install this trigger. So first things first, you want to make sure that your firearm is unloaded. You will see the design here is a flat face trigger right here with a little ledge on the bottom right there. The back is kind of curved with a little bit of a skeletonization going on there for kind of a nice little design there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like a good, nice clean trigger there. So with the flat face here, you do have a couple of options where to place your finger. Now, the further down you go, the lighter the pull will be, and I'll show you guys that in a minute with the pull scale. But uh, I like to rest my finger right at the bottom here, kind of just with the edge of my trigger finger resting on that ledge. All right, so make sure we're good to go, and let's go ahead and walk through this. Next to zero creep there at all, almost no travel. Reset, right there. You pull your finger off, you can see it does not move. Super crisp, super light trigger pull. Honestly, the, the farthest travel is the reset. All right, so excellent, smooth trigger pull there. Let's go ahead, get the trusty scale out. So I'm gonna show you guys at the bottom first. I'm gonna put it right on the bottom right here. All right, and the bottom is 2.5. You can see that right there. All right. Reset. There you go. Now I'm gonna put it right in the middle. So say you put your finger on the bottom, say you put it right on the middle right now. Let's see where that goes. Right in the middle is about three pounds. So see, it's kind of creeping up a little bit. And let's say you place your finger towards the top. Of course, you know, there's limited room there. You can't go all the way up. So let's say maybe three fourths towards the top here. All right, a little over four, almost four and a half. So you can kind of see how it goes up as you kind of rest your finger. So really with these flat face triggers, it really depends on where you want to rest your finger. Like I said, right about on the bottom here, even though this is claimed to be a 3.5 pound trigger, which is pretty close right in the middle here. Yeah, right about 3.5, right in the middle. Um, but if you rest your finger on the very bottom there, like I was showing you guys earlier, you're gonna get a pretty consistent 2.5 to three pound trigger pull, which is very respectable for a trigger in this price range. So pretty standard packaging here from the custom series from PSA, you know, just talks about some of the details, anti-walk pins, we'll talk about in a second. 3.5 pound trigger uh, made in America, right there, made in the USA. Uh, it is a full power hammer springs, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you got 70, 75 T6 aluminum housing, again, one piece design. And of course you have your crisp clean brake with a short reset as you saw. So again, for the price point, these are pretty rocking, honestly. So when talking about the install on one of these triggers, whether you're starting with a strip lower or if you're just kind of upgrading an old trigger you had from another lower, um, it's gonna be about the same process here to get this thing installed. So it is a one piece design in a housing and it has anti-walk pins right here. You can see that is a kind of a hex key design. Uh, it does come with a key you need, so you're good there. Um, but of course, you're gonna have one key here, one key here, and you're going to tighten them down. All right, and you do wanna Loctite those. Um, again, very similar to a lot of the other one-piece designs. So how to actually install this here, you're actually going to loosen your grip screw just enough where you actually have the little spring and detent right here um, exposed, which will allow you to pop your safety completely out. And then you're going to drop the entire trigger 
assembly with the hammer locked into here, line up the holes, put your bolts through, tighten on both sides, put the safety back in, tighten your grip back up, you're good to go. It's that simple, it really is. Now if you're starting with a strip lower, you want to do the trigger before you do the safety, before you put the grip back on. All right, because you do have that spring and detent holding the tension on your safety. So just something to note there, that safety has to get out to line this trigger in. Now I do have one of the competitors right here. This is one of the CMC flat bow triggers that I'm saving for another build that I'm working on for you guys. So you'll see this again. I did a full review on this and honestly it's very, very similar to the design of this custom series. So you'll see how this kind of looks uh, without having to me taking this whole part out here. It's very similar. Um, again, the trigger, the hammer locks back right there. This part is what goes under the safety, hence why you need to take the safety out. And it's going to drop right in. So that's kind of what it looks like. But again, this is one of the competitors. I've had this for a few years now. I did a full review on the CMC trigger right here. And they both work very well. They're very, very similar. Very similar pull weights, as well as same kind of feel. Crisp, clean, smooth break. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the review on this 3.5 pound match grade drop-in trigger. It is an awesome design, very easy to install, and it runs very well for the price point it's at. If you guys are interested at all in picking this up, there'll be a link down in the description below. But it is a great upgrade to any rifle, and I highly recommend it. So, other than that, guys, if you have any questions at all, hit them in the comments below. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next review.